Hello, this is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. Today, we are basically just going to be doing side quests. I mean, this is important, but side quests are always important, or... Right. So, uh, this quiet moment here we cannot access yet, but we can keep climbing up. So why don't we do that? So why don't we do that? Interesting how much platforming they're they're making us do. Okay. Damn it. Okay. There's got to be something up here, right? <laughs> okay, there's even more. Eternal Zenith. Nice. Quite a view up here, got to admit. There's, uh... I feel like there's somebody here. Oh, yes. There is. Hello, Shushu. You managed to climb all the way up here. It dream of Shushu to one day climb every tree in the world! Shushu... Oh, oh, up, 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 yep, yep, yep. Uh... Right. Okay. So, I got that. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, I guess now that we climbed up here, let's start climbing back down. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Oh, that must be one of the kids. Celine, yes, okay. Blaze chain, that's definitely new. So yes, we need to talk to these kids as Kino. So I might as well just have Kino up front. Come and see. Hey, hey, you! Please to go come become friend of Angela. Should be much more fun with, with more than alone. You want me to be friends with Angela? Yeah, alright. I was getting bored of playing on my own anyway. Tell her I'll come and play. Alright. And since we're over here, let's go ahead and pick up this Hom's side quest over here. Oh, let's pick this up. Hero Nepper. Already got that. Alright. Huh? You want something from me? Your faces kind of have that look. Right, I see. That sounds rough. And you came from Companion's Cape. Then, uh, I've got a question for you. On your way to Grandel, did you come across any hard-looking rock or rare materials or anything like that? Uh... Uh... I saw ether deposits. Yeah, I know all about... about I know all about those. We have a few of them in Grandel as well. 
Ah, well, still. Thanks for telling me about that. I've got something to talk to you about as well, if that's okay. Your pun Kina will hear friend out. Right, so, I'm currently making tools for those fixing and expanding the ramparts, and I'd like to make them stronger. That's why I've been asking after better materials. Well, actually, I've got an idea, but I'll need a catalyst to make it work. I'm not tough enough to track it down by myself, but since you know all kinds of other materials, I figured, you know... Say, now I think about it, couldn't I just ask you lot to get it and bring it to me? That'd be way easier, right? The catalyst I want to use is found near the Barrow Ruins Cave. It's a stone people call the Cerulean Shard. As for your reward... Hmm... Maybe I could upgrade any tools you're carrying while I'm working on ours? I can work with anything, like, for example, that ether pick you got? How about it? I bet I could strengthen it to improve the output so you could mine better stuff. Not too shabby, eh? That sounds like a really good plan. We will be doing that one shortly. I was hoping you'd say that. Phew, I'm really glad you hap just happened to be walking right by. Well, don't let me stop you, I'll be waiting. Okay. So we got that quest to do. Um, but I still need to explore Grandel a bit. Uh, there is a higher ledge up there, so I'm going to try to see if I can get up there. Probably have to drop down to it. Okay, this might work. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, what's up here? A giant's trove. We get heat sink four. Awesome. Finally, something extremely useful for Kino. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right on him. There we go. Now he won't have to use cool off so much. There's a loon. There's a lone lunar grady right here. Yeah, that appears to be it. So there are two more side quests down at ground level, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so uh, let's talk to this girl, Salsatana. Ah, good of you to come by. Mind if I ask for a spot of help? I could really use an assist right now. Okay. As you've probably gathered, we use these ancient structures for housing. When we first arrived, they were already deserted, ruined almost beyond all hope of repair. We've been doing our best to keep things tidy, but with the march of time, the rubble starts to pile up. We'd like nothing more than to clear it out, but with our numbers, we can't shift the heavy stuff. That's where you come in. <laughs> no, I wasn't expecting you to drag it around by yourselves. I was hoping you could get us some hoverstone. Oh, we actually got one of them. It's a material with levitational properties. If we could lift the rubble using that, a few pairs of hands would suffice. Okay, so we need three pieces of hoverstone. At Saltmar Seal Island, we got that one already. Pillar Knoll and Scapular Lance. We haven't found Scapular Lance yet, so that's going to have to wait a bit. Thank you. Hoverstone can commonly be found on Saltmar Seal Island, Pillar Knoll, and in the area of the Scapular Lance. Three pieces should be enough to make our work swift and easy. Okay. So we got that in the bag. Uh, Helmeline. What is it? Oh, won't somebody hear my woes? If only someone around here knew about machines, they'd understand my concerns, surely. Okay, someone who understands machines. That sounds like Shulk, so... What is it? Oh, can I help you? Ah, uh, I'm sorry to bother you. I saw those mechanical parts and I figured we might be able to use them to fix the junks. I'm sorry to disappoint, but everything you see here is little more than scrap. Can you tell me what parts you're looking for specifically? We need wiring to link up the generator and, re and the drive system, as well as something to reinforce the hull. 
Hmm, sounds rather complicated. That said, I do have an inkling. You've seen high-end tier airships before, right? Well, there are a few crashed ones in Alchemoth just lying there. And you think we could strip them for parts? Just so. Although I don't know what state they're in, you'll have to go and work that out for yourselves. Right, I see. I would have investigated them myself, but everyone else warned me off, saying it's too dangerous, so I relented. Still, from what I remember of my preliminary study, I think there should be three of the machines left. Understood. Thank you for sharing the information with us. Oh, uh, one moment. I may have a request to go with all that. There are actually some parts I need, too. Would you mind terribly finding them for me and bringing them all back together? Of course, that's no problem at all. Okay, so we have to investigate the airship in the vicinity of Alchemoth's main entrance. What kind of parts are you after? I'm so glad to hear you ask. What I need is a palm-sized cog. Understood. We'll keep our eyes out for one of those. I'm counting on you. No problem. Leave it to me. Interestingly enough... <laughs> Interestingly enough, we got... We now got a quest that requires uh, all of the specific party members. Okay. Uh, it looks like... Uh, there's a Pororo item up there. Can only be gotten from a ledge high up, so let me see where I can go. Okay, this might hurt a little bit. Ugh, okay. The platforming around here is very weird. But, at least we got this item. And, uh... Let's go ahead and talk to those N uh, those uh, NPCs for Angela's quest. so Just so that we can get that out of the way. Hello, Rododo. Me! Rododo is fierce and dino beast. Please to play or Rododo will eat our face. A uh, question before eating a face. Friend know, the, know Angela? Because so happened that Angela is looking for a new friend. How about go talk to? Rododo know Angela? Is Hum Hum Girl not wrong? Rododo and Roll Hum Hum in Dino War! Rawr, rawr, rawr. Okay then. And uh, the other NPC we need is, I believe, on the east side of Grandel. So I'll be right over there. Okay. Is this one it? Nestiner! Hello! Good morrowings! Kino in process of look for new friends for Angela. What friend think? Know who Angela is? Angela? Yeah, I know her. We only talked once, I think, but I've been wanting to hang out with her. Alright. That's easy enough. Since we're over here, let's go ahead and grab the sweet cherry over here. As I said before, we won't be able to clear the quest anyway right now, so... But... Let's just get as much as we can done. So, let's head back to Grandel and finish off Angela's quest. Uh oh. I... I finally have friends! Everyone says they're gonna play with me! I'm so happy! Thank you, Kino! Thank you so much! Oh, nothing! It was all piece of pollen cake for Kino. Just ask Kino for a second helping of a help anytime! <laughs> Maybe I will. Here, have this, and let's play together sometime, okay? Okay. We got some uh, redwood equipment for Kino. Muscle up? Does Kino really need that? Whatever. I was kind of expecting, like, some kind of lengthy, uh... <laughs> Okay, so now... Oh yeah, in case you're curious, unlike in Companion's Cape, 
there is no difference between night and day um, in terms of finding side quests. So I l literally did just accept all of the ones that are available right now. Um, okay, this little, this uh, quiet moment over here just northwest of Grandel can be accessed now. So let's go ahead and do Datapon's Gift with Shulk and Kino. Shulk, looky look! Plenty of trees growing! Looks like this area isn't very heavily cultivated. That might be why nature runs so rampant. Big step for Nopon! Kino make this into Frontier Village Mark II! Frontier Village, huh? I was amazed first time I saw it. All the pollen factories, built into that giant tree. Nopon never use metal if can be helped. Except for Sister Pond, who like use Hom Hom Shield very much. Oh, right. It's true, though. Ricky never did use a metal weapon. It looked more like a fruit of some kind. Kino here, this is actually Gumberry that store ether within. Kino just make it suck in ether, and then it shoot out contents like real rifle. Is that right? I'm not sure I've ever seen a berry that big before. Indeedy! Kino never see one lying around before, that for sure. The plants that bear them must be very rare. I knew biters, but I didn't know you had curiosities like these. Well, biter's still more popular. Little pun Kino also wants to use biter. But no beef on wings, so could not carry properly. But then, when Kino gets in big sulk, Dadapon go and pick Gumberry from somewhere. Ricky did. So he can be a model father. I'm impressed. Yes, yes, Dadapon is true hero pawn. This weapon only used now by Nopon 2 Wimpy to hold Biter, but Dadapon was first one to discover. Everyone jumped for happy when introduced. Ricky is a man of many talents, huh? A true hero pawn indeed. Dad upon say, he got idea for making into weapon from Hom Hom gun. Inspired by a Hom's gun. Ah, Charla's ether rifle then. Though if he was going to make weapons, I would have been happy to help him out. How about it if Shulk give Kino pointers? Kino still not always hit target. Pointers, eh? From what I saw, though, it seemed like you knew your stuff. You know, also think so, but still sometimes miss. Right. Then maybe you'd best learn how to properly handle the weapon. Properly how? Hmm. Am I right to assume you've never really had proper training? Am I? How shock knowing of that? Kino, state of shock. I reckon the weapon's more beat up than it should be. You don't want that. More prone to malfunctions. What Kino should do? It's important to be as careful as possible. Handle it too roughly, and you could end up warping the grip. If the aim is a little off, it could potentially be because of that. Oh, Shulk, no such things. Kino never figure out in a million years. I've always liked tinkering with weapons. Even made my friend Ryan's weapon, in fact. That'll be why. If you need a weapon maintained, I'm your guy. Shulk really second most awesome after Dad upon. Tell Kino more, more, more! All right. But for now, let's reinforce this to help with your aim. In return, could you perhaps share some more stories? Kino liked that deal. It's entertaining seeing how much Ricky is a good dad father. He's not the village pariah as I initially thought. He just has a massive debt. Um, let me grab this. And, uh, let's skip travel all the way back to Junks, as that quiet moment at the ship is now available. Okay, this one. We're getting another quiet moment done. Kino in the doldrums, with Melia and Kino. Oh, such very depressed. 
What is it, Kino? Has something happened? Ah, uh, Miss Manny! Why the sighing? It's unlike the bright, bubbly Kino I know. What? Kino not allowed to be moody? It's sensitive, especially at age of now! I see. Then I hope you'll forgive me. So something worrying you? Anything you care to discuss with me? Doubt if can help. But maybe Miss Mally have some advice. Oh, very well. In that case, I'm all ears. Kino, follow Miss Mally and Shaw calls Skulky like to come with. Hmm, yes, quite. But at start, Kino never think Kino come to such very far away place. That boy, when Kino leave, Kino not say bye bye to Mama Pom. If Kino come back now, there's sure to be heck to pay. When Mama Pom angry, wants to look like Chew Toy. Just thought of remember makes Moo Goku plunge. Hmm. Did Oka really have such force of character? <laughs> but don't fret. It's only because she worries about you. That intensity. ...is nothing but a sign that you are loved dearly, Kino. Miss Molly Shaw? Yes. I'd say... ...she only scolds you because she cares. Mama Pong get angry because love? Kino not really understand. Look at it this way. Kino, you are her beloved son. If you were hurt, Oka would be sad, would she not? Therefore, when she scolds you, it's to try and ensure that you don't put yourself in harm's way. So, do not think it cruelty. Oh, <gasps> you know, no. Everything resolved. If you miss Melly, just ask Mama Pond to tone down harsh when angry at Kino. If do that, even Mama Pond may become a bit gentle in your pond. No, that I cannot do. Mama, why no? You really need me to explain. Isn't it the mark of a hero pond to take responsibility for their own actions? At least I believe Ricky did, to an extent. If you wanted to come with us, you should have asked Ricky and Oka's permission to begin with. Don't you think that's what a hero pawn ought to do? Mama! You'll find as you go through life, similar situations may reoccur. If they do, and if you act the way you did this time, nobody will acknowledge you as a true hero pawn. Sneaking on the boat was naughty behavior. <laughs> Kino, once you realize you have done wrong, you must reflect on it and rectify it as soon as you can. If you let the chance slip you by, you may not get another. Kino got it, Miss Melly. From now, Kino promised to never follow friends or sneaky skulky again. We'll follow friends proudly. Oh, <laughs> it seems. I didn't explain properly after all. What you did wrong was to cause Oka undue concern. So you'll have to accept your punishment, put time into self-reflection, and next time, simply do better. That is the behavior that will let you grow on your path as a mighty hero. Understood. Kino promise. Hmm. I wonder if he really understood. That was a nice lesson for all the kitties out there. Hopefully Kino will learn. Uh, let's skip travel to Baru Ruins. Ooh. Shall I go ahead and get the Kilo Pumpkins out of the way? Uh, yes, I will. But I do want to go to the Baru Ruins to get that Cerulean Shard. So, uh, give me one sick. Okay. There's this thing over here, which is a Cerulean Shard. Nice. And then we just need the ho Hoverstone that's on top here at Pillar Knoll. Huh, come to think of it, I've never gone up here before. There are a bunch of enemies around here, but considering our levels, it's not, too, it's not a big worry at all. Just wanting to see what the items are that I picked up. Okay, nothing big. Alright, we got the Hoverstone here. Um, 
You know what? I did say that this was just going to be side quests, but since we're over here, let's just go ahead and go to Sultnar Seal Island. Okay, here we are. Figured I might as well do this anyway, because I... There's something that needs to be done at Alchemoth. What is happening over there? We're fighting off against two Ponyo Fog Beasts. Uh, they've got the usual attacks that Ponyo are known for, just more powerful since they're influenced by the Fog King. Um, another thing that I want to make note of is about Fog Beasts is that they spread a riot surge that can attract nearby monsters and strengthen them. But we don't have to worry about that here. Okay, doing good so far. I mean, this should be an easy battle considering their blue tag. There we go. And not come back! Shulk. The Fog Beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. I don't think that's where those ones came from. What do you mean? The Rift made normal monsters transform into Fog Beasts. That's no good. We better head back to Grandel now. Your instinct was right, Melia. Yes. Although, the Rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Ratson, are you fine? Miss Melia, these armors. It was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. You should seek refuge. Right you are. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, these are even easier to do. Time to fight these guys. Another thing I want to make mention of is that the effects of Riot Surge of from Fog Beasts is considered an aura, and thus can be overridden with things such as Monado Purge, Mind Blast, or Daze, which the Yellow Chaos Union Strike is actually very good against. But considering these are weaker than the Ponyos we just fought, this should be no problem at all. Thank you for that. Was everyone all right? Yeah. No major injuries to speak of. All thanks to you, of course. Kino accepts a year's supply of sweet wasabi as reward. Real Hereupon never has compensation. Where it say that? Shulk, was it the Rift's expanding influence that's responsible for our Armu's transformation? Looks like it. We saw it happen before, too. Regular monsters turned into fog beasts, just like that. That suggests more fog beasts will appear if the rift continues to spread its vileness. Consider, with the size it was before, the rift's effect was limited to the area within the capital. But now it's getting wider. One moment. In that case, if the rift keeps growing larger... All monsters everywhere could be changed by the fog. We must find a way to fight back. We'll need those research notes for that. Let's head for the lab. Right. Alright, so it sounds like we need to head back to Teelan's lab. I guess Shulk has an idea on how to counter the Fog King. But... We've done enough for now. So I'm gonna call it here. This has been Mr. Bacon Bits with Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. Stay safe, happy, and healthy. And next time, we're just gonna do more stuff. See you guys then.